Amoy insenso. Amoy simbahan. Hiningi ko ba opinion mo? Ayun. Buti na yung malinaw. Hello and welcome back for another episode. Um, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell for more honest perfume reviews. So, for today, as promised from last week, I'm gonna be bringing you Jesus Del Pozo's private collection for men. So, I'm gonna be going towards you so you could see the bottle and the box presentation, alright? So, here we have the bottle. There. It's Arabian Nights. Over here, Jade Al Pozo. Pretty nice bottle. So here we have the bottle. It's quite nice. Look at this uh, patterns over here. Looks Middle Easternish. It's like a band all around the bottle. Now for the sprayer, what we have is this. It's a simple sprayer. Top is quite plain. At the bottom, we should see a batch code which should match the batch code at the bottom of the box. It's a pretty neat and heavy looking bottle. So I'll show you the box right now. As for the box, it's almost the same as the one for women. And there you can see it says Arabian Nights, so it's texturized crocodile or alligator pattern there. Jade Pozo, nothing at the sides, at the back. Other side, nothing at the top as well. Just a nice texturized carton over there. Now here, you have the information, the ingredients, the name concentration. By the way, this one that I've ha I have here is 100 mil. Now I think you could see right here the batch code. It's right about here there so yeah that will be the presentation of private collection for men by Jesus Del Pozo Arabian Nights now I'm gonna be doing a fresh spray of this so I could run you through the phases from the top bottom and the mid I'm gonna be doing a fresh one here I'm getting violets. I'm getting sharp violets at the top. There's this silent oud vibe that it has on the top. Is this rose? Wow, this is interesting. That's what I'm getting here from the top. Now, I have here the mid. Let's see what it holds. For the mid, now we could see the dry frankincense. You could feel the dry frankincense or olibanum. It's very resinous. Violets are gone. Roses are gone. Hints of oud. Now at the mid, you can slowly feel the suede leather creeping in. But still the dominant note for the mid face is the frankincense or olibanum. Now let's go on the base. For the base, what we have, we have left with suede we are left with frankincense now um, for the impressions of this initial impressions 
this is this is something that a person of authority would wear this smells rich it smells privileged it smells like someone who's got serious brass in their pocket um, it is not a fun scent per se but it is a serious scent that commands authority um, it commands attention it's not something that you'll smell in the mall it's not something common that you'd smell when someone passes by you it is not a common scent it is how should I say it it should remind you of some holy place with this scent with the frankincense with the wood uh, with hints of rose in it and with a suede smooth suede leather in it this is something special as for the time place and occasion this should be worn just in special events um this should not be worn casually this would this would be overkill this would not suit t-shirt cap and jeans it would not this this commands attention it it gives you presence that authoritative presence it gives you that so might as well dress up for it for maximum impact I would say for the cold weathers controlled temperatures um, if you're going somewhere special you know if, you, if you're a politician if you're a high-ranking military officer this would suit you um, person of power and influence um, big-time businessmen this would suit you I would say this is fairly a unique scent I don't have I don't have any other frequencies in mind that would that would be really similar to this suede leather soft suede leather that almost holy frankincense um, it's not burnt yet the frankincense isn't burnt yet so it has this very resinous feel about it it has this holy feel about it so yeah for the time place and occasion that's that's where you're gonna wear this cold weather special events I've already profiled the people who can rock this of course it smells rich so yeah you better look rich now for the siage projection longevity for the siage I place this siage and projection I place this on about above average it projects third person from you can smell this that's a guarantee for the longevity I get consistently six hours plus from this I think this is an eau de toilette oh it's an eau de parfum six hours longevity that's really good for this because after that I want to wear another fragrance after I bathe so yeah six hours would be acceptable for me now for the for the final impressions of this um, I think this is it's high and mighty scent almost holy it is not that complex but it does concentrate on the note of smooth suede hints of wood and rose and frankincense as the main player for this so it's quite unique I don't think you could acquire this very easily so if you do have connections or know people who has this I suggest you give it a try if you can sample this much better it's very rare so yeah if you, if you could sample it just go ahead so that has been my review and initial impression of Jesus Del Pozo's Arabian Nights private collection for him so I will see you in the next time please do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be informed of my next episode so until the next time this is Alex I am out